Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing the covalent bonding of elements. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. Covalent bonding is a bonding between two elements, both are nonmetals, by sharing valence electrons. The difference of covalent bonding from ionic bonding is that it involves sharing of valence electrons, while for ionic bonding, it is true transferring of valence electrons from a metal to a non-metal. Like water with a chemical formula of H2O, water is formed through covalent bonding. Hydrogen and oxygen are both nonmetals, therefore, they can only bond through covalent bonding, and that is through sharing their valence electrons. The covalent bonding of water is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. As we can see here, for each of the atom of hydrogen, it has one energy level with one electron. While for oxygen, it has two energy levels wherein the second energy level has six valence electrons. Hydrogen will share its lone electron with the oxygen. So as the hydrogen share its lone electron with oxygen, it adds to the valence electrons of oxygen. So it becomes now seven valence electrons. And aside from that, oxygen also shares one of its valence electrons with hydrogen to complete the two electrons at the energy level of hydrogen. This remaining hydrogen here will also share its lone electron with the oxygen. And so, after the sharing the electron of hydrogen, the oxygen now satisfy the octet rule, wherein it has now eight electrons at, it out, at its outermost energy level. So this is the covalent bonding involved in the formation of water, wherein it has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Methane is the simplest form of organic compound. All organic compounds are formed through covalent bonding. This hydrogen atom will bond with the carbon atom. As the hydrogen shares its lone electron with carbon, it adds to the valence electrons of carbon, making it 5 electrons at the outermost energy level of carbon. Since carbon already has five valence electrons, carbon is still in need of three more electrons to satisfy the octet rule. So therefore, there will be an additional of three hydrogen atoms to satisfy the octet rule of carbon, making it eight electrons at the outermost energy level. This is the covalent bonding involved in the formation of methane, and the chemical formula of methane is CH4, one atom of carbon with four atoms of hydrogen. The formation of a binary acid also involves covalent bonding. Let's say we have this hydrogen and a halogen, to be specific, fluorine, will bond through covalent bonding. Fluorine has seven valence electrons, and fluorine needs one more electron to satisfy the octet rule. That one electron will be coming from the hydrogen. Hydrogen now will share its lone electron with fluorine. Through covalent bonding, it will now form a what we call binary acid. The chemical formula for this binary acid is HF, 
or we name this as hydrofluoric acid. Some other binary acids such as HCl or hydrochloric acid, HBr or hydrobromic acid, and HI hydroiodic acid are also formed through covalent bonding. They just differ in size because each of the halogen elements have different number of energy level. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new about covalent bonding. See you next time.